If Russia wins Ukraine, it will be a disaster for Europe, but Russia itself will also collapse. If Ukraine and its Western backers lose heart, Europe could face a scenario in which Russia seizes the rest of Ukraine, installs a puppet regime and gradually integrates most or all of the country into a new Russian empire, foreign policy reports. At the same time, in their opinion, Russia's victory and the collapse of the Ukrainian state would have extremely grave consequences for Europe as well. In particular, tens of millions of new refugees can be expected since in the Ukrainian territories occupied by Russia, first in 2014 and then since 2022, the population now makes up an insignificant part of what it was before. If a similar ratio were to be applied to further Russian conquests, it would be realistic to expect 10 to 15 million refugees in addition to the slightly more than 4 million that Europe already hosts who are flowing into neighboring European states, the article says. It is also noted that a Russian victory would change European politics in several ways. In particular, the Ukrainian government in exile would operate from Warsaw or somewhere in Central Europe. Defense spending set to reach 4% of GDP in Poland this year and at least 2% in most NATO countries must double again to credibly contain the threat from an increasingly desperate Russian regime. The journalists predict, in their opinion, Putin is waging his war both to subjugate Ukraine and to restore the balance of the world order. The consequences of allowing Russia to win in Ukraine would be catastrophic for Ukrainians, extremely serious for Europe's security and deeply destabilizing for the rest of the world. In the end, it would likely lead to the collapse of Russia itself, which would leave Europe with a whole host of other consequences to prepare for, the publication concludes. 30 passengers were injured after a flight from Madrid to Uruguay was hit by strong turbulence and had to make an emergency landing in Brazil, Spanish airline Air Europa said. Our flight UX045 bound for Montevideo has been diverted to the natal airport in Brazil due to strong turbulence, Air Europa said in a post on X, the plane has landed normally and those who sustain different types of injuries are already being treated. The plane, which had 325 passengers on board, was hit by turbulence over the Atlantic when it had almost reached the Brazilian coast, according to an Air Europa spokesman. The plane landed normally and was met by a fleet of ambulances. Airport officials said some passengers needed medical attention and were taken to the nearest hospital. The patients had hit their heads during the turbulence and suffered injuries including skull fractures and facial cuts, according to health authorities. This is one of several turbulence-related incidents to make headlines in recent times due to the severity of the situation and the injuries received by passengers. One of them involved a Singapore Airlines Boeing 777 traveling from London Heathrow to Singapore Changi Airport on May 21, when severe turbulence caused serious injuries to many passengers, even claiming the life of one. The same month, a Turkish Airlines flight attendant was flung to the ceiling before falling hard on the floor, suffering from a broken backbone when an Airbus A321 flight from Istanbul to Izmir faced severe turbulence. In May again, a Qatar Airways Boeing 787-9 flight to Dublin was met by emergency services at the airport after turbulence injured six passengers and six crew members on the flight. In June, an Air New Zealand Airbus A320 on a domestic flight from New Zealand's capital, Wellington, to Queenstown was hit by turbulence about 15 minutes into the flight. The incident left two injured. More than a dozen whistleblowers have come forward against Boeing in recent years, and the number has grown substantially since a door plug blew off a 737 MAX plane in January just after takeoff, leaving a gaping hole in the side the plane.